in WWE 2K23, I have made Stone Cold Steve Austin a zero overall. Austin will have three matches to go from a zero overall all the way up to max 100 overall. Match number one will be a 10-man Royal Rumble. Match number two will be an Elimination Chamber. And match number three will be a one-on-three -on -three Elimination Handicap match against the Bloodline. For every elimination that Austin gets, he will earn 100 upgrade points. And for every match that Austin wins, he'll earn 250 upgrade points. After those three matches are completed, he will go one-on-one -on -one with the final boss, the Rock on Legend Difficulty. And as always, we have lowered every single Stone Cold Steve Austin stat to the lowest it possibly can go in this game, which is a 30 overall. And that obviously makes Stone Cold Steve Austin a 30 overall. The glass has shattered. Stone Cold Steve Austin, only at a 30 overall, is still ready to open up a can. And at the entrant number two spot, it is none other than Big E. And Big E starting this matchup by getting me up top, but luckily we're able to counter even with a 30 overall Austin on normal difficulty like we do for all these rumbles and these type of videos. We can counter every once in a while. If we were on Legend, 0% chance we could ever counter with a 30 overall Austin. And Big E is countering me time after time as well. I've not gotten one offensive move in as entrant number three is going to be on his way right now. And it's going to be the animal, Batista. I am going to mind my own business while I can. I got to let my stamina stay where it's at. Cannot use too much energy because I do not regenerate as fast as some of these other wrestlers that are going to be in this match. But as soon as entrant number four joins, or as soon as Biggie wants to attack me right here with a clothesline, Sheamus joins the match. Biggie trying to throw me over the top. Luckily, did not go over though. As Sheamus and Batista are going to jump onto him. And Batista, they're all going at it again. Entrant number five is going to join. I do have another second to breathe here, but here comes Batista. Batista, you might have made a mistake. Okay, no, you didn't. But then we actually counter Batista. Otis at five. Can we hit an offensive move? Okay, Batista doesn't want any of that right now. The more this ring fills up, the less I like my chances to win this thing. But we are putting some right hands on to Big E here. Big E is stunned. Can we get him over the top rope as Brock Lesnar will be entering at the number three spot? Austin misses. Austin again. We've eliminated Big E. He was stunned at a 30 overall. Austin actually gets an elimination. And Batista is eliminated by Brock Lesnar. Okay. So this ring was filling up with two back-to-back -back eliminations. We eliminate Big E. Batista goes out via Brock Lesnar. And at number seven, it's Randy Orton. And there goes Sheamus by Otis. Everybody's stealing my elimination points right now. That's not going to work for me. Clothesline by Austin. Otis, we got him right where we want him. One on one with Otis here. Austin, right hand again. Can we stun Otis and get him over the top rope? Three more entrants to join this match. And it is not going to get any easier as this 10 man Royal Rumble is absolutely stacked. John Cena of 2012 is entering this matchup. Two more entrants to go. Entrant number nine, we only have one elimination so far. It's Jake the Snake Roberts. Did Cena just eliminate somebody? Randy Orton was eliminated by John Cena. The CPUs are eliminating everybody right now. We do have a signature, though. I would like to hit it on somebody, get a stunner, and get an elimination. Brock actually is kind of injured. He's been fighting a lot of these guys. And he looks pretty injured to me. So I'm going to try to take advantage of this. I'm going to throw Brock over the top. Austin, we miss. Austin that time finally get our second elimination in this match eliminating Brock Lesnar and the final entrant in this rumble Who will it be? It's Dominic Mysterio And I'm trying to hit Otis here with a Dez press, but he counters forget this get over here Otis stunner Stunner to Otis Otis is stunned. That's got to be all she wrote for Otis right here over the top rope He goes Austin, we miss every time on the first time, but the second time always works. Another elimination for Austin, and we are down to four in this match. As Jake the Snake could be going out to Dom right here as a pile driver to Cena. Could use another finisher here, another signature, something to really do some damage to some of these other guys. Stun them, Cena. I got to be very careful as Dominic Mysterio is eliminated by Jake the Snake Roberts. Can we get Cena out? No, we can't. I don't even know where I was going. Cena and Jake the Snake. I can regain my stamina right here. Attitude adjustment to Jake the Snake. This is where we pick our spot. We're going to look to eliminate Jake the Snake right here. Cena did all the work. Over the top rope. But Cena doesn't let me eliminate him. But we counter Cena. Both of them are going at it. I really want both eliminations. But I want the win. I'd be getting 250 points plus an elimination. So the win has to be had. But if they attack me like this, I will try to eliminate them. No! No way! Are you kidding me? 
Jake the Snake just lowered the top rope. And we're out. I used 150 of my 300 upgrade points to make my body and arm durability 60, and then my pin escape strength and stamina 60. Then I've upgraded my arm power to 60, my grapple offense and running offense to 60, and my final 60 points went towards strike and grapple reversal. Well, we're halfway to 100 overall, with Austin being a 50. For the Elimination Chamber, this match will be filled with some of the greatest Attitude Era superstars of all time. After a disappointing end from Austin in the Rumble, we gotta get this done in the chamber. And starting the chamber with Stone Cold Steve Austin is the Phenom, The Undertaker. But only at a 50 overall. I don't even know if I like my chances right now as The Undertaker's throwing right hands. If I can't grapple him, we'll just have to stomp him. We'll just have to stomp at the chest of The Undertaker while he's down. And a new entrant will be joining this match in just about three seconds. Finally got a grapple. And then I'm countered. And entering this match is one of Stone Cold's biggest rivals in the Attitude Era, that being Triple H. Both of these guys are going at it. I'm going to use that time to just get out of the way for another 10 seconds or so. Get my stamina back up as we get another entrant in this match. Not sure who it's going to be. But this ring, this chamber match, will have four participants in at one time. No eliminations yet. Undertaker's taking a little bit of damage, but not much. Here comes the Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. And it looks like Kurt Angle wants to go with us here, so we got to go back at him. Kurt Angle up and over the head of Stone Cold Steve Austin. There's a really nice move. And as soon as I start getting the upper hand on Kurt, of course, Triple H has to make an appearance here. Who will be the fifth entrant into the chamber match? Is it Brett or Sean? And it's the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, that will be joining us. And in four seconds, Bret Hart will be joining this match right now. And I'm trying to go with The Undertaker because The Undertaker's taking a lot of damage compared to anybody else in this match. Probably besides me. But is Undertaker going to hit something here? And he's going to slam us down to the ground. Now we're working with Triple H outside the ring. We got the Dez press on the game. And we're attacking Triple H with the right hands from Austin. And now, can we hit a stunner? Stunner, no, it's countered. Come on. I'm just going to try to attack The Undertaker here. Undertaker has taken the most damage of this match besides me. So without a finisher at my disposal, I have to go at the Phenom here and see what I can do. And of course he counters me. What the heck? Go over the tombstone. No counter available. I couldn't even counter the tombstone. Oh, no. Oh, no. But we're able to kick out of it, thankfully. Now we are just going at HBK right here as Undertaker might tap out to Bret Hart's sharpshooter. It is possible. Vez press right there. To Shawn Michaels, Undertaker powers out. Can we get the cover on Shawn? He has no resiliency. Two, three, we've eliminated HPK, thankfully. And Undertaker, he's used his resiliency. Stunner, stunner to the Phenom. He's got no resiliency. Two, we've eliminated Undertaker. Be careful, watch out for the pedigree. We countered it. No, I was going for the stunner, didn't work. What's going on? Okay, I guess we can't do a stunner for here because we're inside like the ring post. But maybe right here. Stunner! This time, Stunner connects to Triple H. Can we get three eliminations in a row? Two count. Three count. He didn't use his resiliency. I don't care to know as to why he didn't. That's three eliminations for Austin. Look at these CPUs. They will just chase us around the ring because Brett wants to chase me instead of going for Angle. And Angle wants to go for Brett. Look at this. What is this game? Talk about AI IQ right now. CPU IQ at an all-time low. I can just continuously walk around this ring right now, and they won't do anything. Okay, never mind. They finally did. No, Kurt used resiliency, actually, to power out. But Kurt, he has no more resiliency, so he's going to be our target to possibly eliminate. We get the three count. There's no way! We got a three count on angle just off a shoulder tackle. And it's a one-on-one -on -one now against Bret Hart. Oh, he dodged this, though. Now, we have to be careful. I don't have any submission defense. I just realized that. I didn't upgrade that at all. I cannot let him lock in a sharpshooter. But we don't have to. Stunner! Stunner to Bret Hart! Can we get the three? He'll probably use resiliency. Two! Yes. Oh, he didn't even use it. How is that possible? Austin, he's going to go for the sharpshooter. He's going to go for it. We countered it! Stunner! Stunner! <laughs> Please, this has to be it. One, two, we win the chamber match. 
Thank you! So I wound up using 420 points to upgrade the remaining stats that I haven't yet done so up to a 60 overall to give Austin 60s across the board. Then I use more points to max out my body and arm durability, my pin escape, my agility, movement speed, special and finisher up to 90. Then I use my remaining points to max out my body and arm durability, my pin escape, my strength, stamina, agility, movement speed, then made my recovery 70 with special and finisher being 90. And that now makes Austin a 95 overall. Austin though is now a 95 overall and is ready for the bloodline. And I know that the bloodline is breaking up right now in the real WWE, but for the game, we can still make them fight together. The enforcer of the bloodline, though, is still with the bloodline, Solo Sokoa. We got Austin versus the bloodline. They're still together here. We got Jimmy in the ring first, and then we got to take out Jay and Solo as well. I definitely do not want them tagging in very often, so we got to make sure that we do not take a lot of offensive attacks from them. That way, they have a second to tag in. I want to get finishers and signatures as quick as I possibly can. Because none of them have resiliency, which is awesome. Because whenever you fight somebody with resiliency, it never is going to take just one finisher to put them down. Just like that, Jimmy Uso is back in this match. But that is fine. Let's just get a Thez Press. Let's get a stunner going. And we should be able to eliminate all of these guys. We got the Thez Press. Come here, Jimmy. Come here, Jimmy Uso. They have no resiliency. Now we wait. Can one stunner put Jimmy Uso away? For the bloodline here. Stunner connects. Let's see. We got to knock Jay and Solo off the apron here. There goes Jay. There goes Solo. Can we get the cover? No rope break. One. He reached for the rope though. I guess there is a rope break. Let's connect right here on Solo. Will one stunner put the enforcer of the bloodline away? There goes Jay. Got to knock Jimmy off. Come on, Jimmy. Get up here. There goes Jimmy. Solo is down. Can we put him away here? One, two, and he kicks out at two. Right into it. Stunner by Austin. Solo down again. Get off the apron. Get off the apron. Come on. Let's put him away. Do not grab for the rope break again. This has to be it for Solo. Two count. Three count. See you later, Solo. One elimination. We're having some technical difficulties in this match. Knocking these guys off the apron to get the covers is annoying at some times. Stunner! Stunner connects! We gotta knock Jimmy off. Jay should be gone. And it'll be a one-on-one -on -one to win this match. Do not let him grab for the rope break again. Okay, the ref just didn't see it. He definitely grabbed the rope, but I'm cool with it. Watch out, Austin. Watch out, Austin. Good job, Jimmy. Flew right into us. Let's get him back in the ring. We have another stunner for him. Let's beat this bloodline and move on to the people's champion, The Rock. Oh, he countered the stunner. What a counter by Jimmy Uso. That is a nice counter. I will not lie. I thought I had this in the bag. Still might have it. We have the Thez Press. Maybe I'll just end it with that. Let's see. Thez Press to Jimmy. This could be it. Let's go for the cover. No rope break this time. Nowhere for Jimmy Uso to grab. Two count. Three count. It's rock time. Those upgrade points were enough to max out Stone Cold Steve Austin stats all across the board. And that obviously makes Stone Cold a 100 overall. And Stone Cold Steve Austin is ready for another match at WrestleMania with The Rock. And here comes the people's champion. The Rock Austin for at Mania. Here we go. All right, here we go. Rock and Austin. And The Rock is on legend difficulty. So this is not going to be easy. He's going to be countering all of our moves. Let's see what we can do, though, Austin. Let's see. We're a 100 overall. We should be able to beat him. But The Rock already starting, and I missed my counter. The Rock disrespecting Stone Cold Steve Austin going for a cover that quickly. You cannot do that right now. You cannot do that. Until the shoulder tackle by Stone Cold. And The Rock going to get up really quickly. Can we hit the pile driver this time? This time, the pile driver is good. Does Austin fly? I would probably say no. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can jump outside the ring with Stone Cold. Didn't think so. Stone Cold not really known to jump out of the ring with crazy explosive moves over the top rope. But he can DDT people. And he just hit the people's champ with a huge DDT. Let's go for Vintage Austin right here. Somehow already with a Thez Press. Don't really know how we got that that quickly. But I'm going to take advantage of that. Thez Press to the Rock. And it could be time. We could end this match in record time for a final boss. Because it could be Stunner 
time from Austin. Stunner, stunner to the people's champ. The Rock, he is down. One, two. Oh, I thought he was actually going to suffer a three count, but he did use resiliency, which is crazy this early in the matchup. And there's a counter. And with two finishers just ready to go. I think we could end this final boss in record fashion. Stunner, stunner to the rock. If we have to use another one, we will, but a two count and a three count. Stone Cold Steve Austin as a 100 overall just made quick work of the great one, the people's champ at WrestleMania with the win. And if you all enjoyed that video, I am confident that you will like either of these two videos down below and make sure to subscribe for more content.